Hey guys, Jared here, Magnetic Men's Club. I got the whiteboard out. I hope you guys can see it. I'll have my camera guy maybe focus in a little bit more on these numbers because they're very important. Um, today's video, we're gonna talk about this delusion that some, or I might even say most women have when it comes to dating, specifically trying to find a man who makes at least six figures or more. And I wanted to do a video on this because I'm, it's all over social media and I see it every day and it kind of just bugs me because math is math. I mean, all of these numbers you can find in real time. I got these numbers off the 2020 statistics presented by the IRS. So the, I would assume if they have the information, it's pretty accurate, I would, I would guess. Now, this is what, four years ago? So maybe some of these numbers have shifted a little bit more. But in this video, I wanna talk about how delusional some women are when they only are looking for men who make at least six figures or more. And ladies, if you're watching this and you have this thought, I'm gonna break down the numbers for you to show you just how competitive I'm using high value as the mark, 130,000 a year, how competitive it is to find a man that A, would want you, B, might want to put up with your bullshit, C, actually settle down. Because once you get to this threshold, guys, understand, this is why in my videos I talk about, you You want to be as high value as you can. That means in income, that means in looks, that means in, the, the way you present yourself, the full package, but you wanna do it for you first, but by extension, just on money alone, if you can get into this top 10% or even in the top 25%, if you get into at least this, well, your opportunities to meet women, great women, increase. Now, for the ladies out there who are only interested in dating the top 10% of the top men who make six figures or more, and you're single, I'm going to tell you why, because you're just out league. There's too many women competing for the same guy. So let's look at this, let's break this down, just so everybody knows, because I don't think actually most people actually understand what Americans actually make. Everybody just seems, they're on social media, they're on Instagram, and they see a dude in a Mercedes, they see him in a private jet, they see them in this house, but most of that shit is smoke and mirrors. Most of that is fluff. Probably they're trying to sell you a lifestyle that they themselves don't have, can't afford, and probably couldn't maintain. So let's break this down. So in order to be in the top 1%, yes, you're gonna be in the top 1% with the Elon Musks, the Jeff Bezos of the world, all of them, to get in the ground floor, you would need to be earning $437,407 at a minimum and higher. That's scarce. If you're trying to find a man who makes at least 400, 500 grand a year, that is scarce. And the probability of you doing it is, is probably really close to zero. The next top 5%, you would have to make a minimum of 180,561 up until that threshold of 437. If you fall into that, man, you're rare. That's rare. This could be your doctors, your lawyers, they're gonna fall into these scales, business owners, all of that. They're gonna fall into this scale, but that's very rare. The next one, which we always talk about, we always hear is, I want a man that makes at least six figures, and they're really touching that top 10%. In order to get into the top 10%, as of the 2020 IRS, is 130,868. We're gonna consider that the high value man, because that's what we hear on social media. That's what we kind of all use as a benchmark of what high value specific to income is. It has nothing to do with the person you are. We're just talking about high value on income. Then you get to the next top 25%, and then you would need to make a minimum of 77,372 you're still a solid dude, you're still a solid dudette, you maybe work in middle America, who knows? This is, I would say for men out there who are struggling and dating or just looking to level themselves up, you at least wanna to try to get into 
this group as best you can. Not just for dating, but you know, obviously income. You don't want to struggle. You want to be a good provider and you can provide great value to a woman making this income between the here and here. Now, sadly, the rest, 50%, a little bit more, fall into $38,005. That's 50% of the population. That could be your service workers, you know, maybe some type of quasi-skilled, unskilled labor. This is it, guys. Most of the people in the US, this is what they make. I know it's shocking because, again, everybody's showing a lifestyle on, on Instagram and on Facebook, going on all these vacations. Well, they're probably very heavily in debt. So we're going to just use the top 10% because we always hear that women say, oh, if he's not making at least this, I'm not interested. He can't be a good provider for my lifestyle. Here's the problem. Ladies, if it's 10% of the entire population and there's 157 million working individuals in the US, the rest of the half could be children, you could be older, kids in school, things like that. So they don't really pop up until you know they get taxed. 157 million, 10% of that falls into 15.7 million people in the US make at least 130,868 or more. That's top 10%. Out of that, 13% right now are men making that money, about 5% give or take of women. So if we go back to this, 13% of this, of this 15,000 or 15 million is 2.4 million men are making six figures or more. Doesn't sound very good, right? 2.4, it gets worse, ladies, because now you have to factor in everybody who's married, men that might be gay or identify as LGBTQ, men who might not be married, but they're in a committed relationship. And those numbers fall, you probably can't see on my board, but 60% of this 2.4 million are married. 10% are, again, gay, they've identified they're in a, a, a relationship other than married. 30% of that number are single. 30% of 2.4 is 720,000 men in the U.S. make $130,000 or more. And here's the kicker, 56.8 million females are single in the US. So 56.8, now I'm not saying all of these women, but a big majority of these women think they deserve this high value man. They're pining after 720,000. This equates to 1.27%. This is very rare, ladies. This means this man specifically has choice. This man has options. And so if you are struggling in dating, ladies, I would just invite you to consider lowering, you guys say your standards, I'm actually saying lower your lane, lower the idea that you don't deserve this type of guy, you don't think this type of guy, he might be a player, he might be not even interested in married, he might be working and he, he might even be asexual, you don't know, but the point is this guy has choice. I'd invite you to start looking for these types of guys in the top 20%, 25% at least. You have more options now. These guys are good, solid dudes. They're just trying to make a living. Will they ever reach this echelon? Maybe not, but this is only one aspect of a man. You know, maybe he's doing the best he can. Maybe he's struggling, but he is in this top 10, 25%. You overlook him because up. Oh, he doesn't make 100,000, 120, 200. I hear women saying minimum 400,000 and yet they're alone and they're single and they get ran through by all these other guys who aren't making it. They might fake it, but they get ran through or they might even find a guy like this, but he doesn't take her seriously because he doesn't have to because he has so much choice. It's like 
the idea of there's a bus every 15 minutes. Guys, if you get into this, this category, even the top 25%, you will have more options for better quality women. Ladies, I need you to understand that I want you in a happy relationship, but I also need you to understand if you're only going off of income and that's like a benchmark for you and you're still single and you haven't been able to find this guy or lock this type of guy down, think about it. This is why he doesn't need to. You get out of line, you start getting bossy, you start making demands for him. He's just going to say, fine, there's 20 other girls in my inbox where I can make a phone call. You have to remember, and I'm not here to shoot you guys down, but you're only the prize, ladies, relative to the men that want you. Men become the prize relative to the men you want. And so if you're always pining for these higher value men, they become the prize by default. And so you're struggling to find this type of guy. And the reality is they're just not out there. There's just not enough of them. But there's plenty of great value men. There's plenty of really good solid dudes in this. But you don't give them a look because you think if they're not in here, then they're scrubs, they're deadbeats, they're nobodies. That's just not how America's set up. I wish people made more money, I'm not saying that, but you also have to remember guys in this cal caliber, they have different mindsets. They have different ideas. Most of these men that fall into this are very busy men. They don't really have time to screw around and they're not going to want to be in competition with you in the dating world. He doesn't want to come home and fight with you and argue with you and be like, oh, you can't handle me. Well, why the fuck should he handle you? He doesn't need to handle you. We've just demonstrated mathematically he has way more options than you because if you're only trying to get the top 10% and that's your benchmark, you've limited your options. That's all I got on this, guys. My name is Jared. This is the Magnetic Men's Club. If you find videos like this helpful, you know what to do. Hit the subscribe button. Leave me a comment. Hit that bell icon so you knew new videos are being dropped. In the links below, please join our free Facebook group. And in the second link down, we have a brand new application. It is a paid private membership. Click the link, it explains everything that you get. It's videos that are never published before. They're only for my private members. There's essays, there's eBooks. We interact together in the private group only. Consider subscribing to that. It's a very low introductory rate. If you don't like it, cancel anytime. With that, have an amazing day and we'll talk soon. Thanks.